Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we will check out the version 2 of Rode's most popular and affordable camera mic. And this is the Rode Video Micro 2. Let's open the box and see what we get. We have a flat TRS cable, mostly to hook up to your camera. We also have the TRS to TRRS coiled cable for your smartphones. And that's good that this comes with it. We have some paperwork and we have the dead cat for windy situations. And we have the mic itself, which also has the foam windshield included, which is nice. I know the version one only has the dead cat. I like the new helix mount. The mic design itself is different from the older version. The helix mount is a unique but sturdier shock mount. We have a 3.8 screw and cold shoe attachment. The mic needs a bit of push to remove it from the mount. The mic itself is pretty light. Mic capsule in the front and a 3.5mm jack on the back. Just a quick comparison between the original Video Micro, which only comes with the fuzzy dead cat, and also its TRS to TRS cable is coiled, which I actually prefer than this new flat cable. And this has this Ryko shock mount, which works, but it is just wobbly that you do need to clip your cable to the screw like so, so that it will not jiggle around. The Video Micro 2 comes with a fuzzy windshield and also a foam one. If there's not a lot of wind, this foam will do the trick. Also, the helix mount doesn't wobble around. Also, this comes with a TRS to TRRS cable for your smartphone, and this is a separate purchase for the original Video Micro. I'll be installing this to my ZV-E10 and we will listen to the audio from the Video Micro 2 first and we will compare it to the original Video Micro. I'll keep the audio level to 17 and I will not do any level adjustment in post. So if there's a difference, you'll be able to hear it. This is the audio quality of the Rode Video Micro 2 and I have the fuzzy windshield on just because it's a little bit windy. Are you able to hear the wind noise? And also, I'm going to compare this to the original Rode Video Micro. Now, I have the Rode Video Micro and also it has the fuzzy windshield on. And how does it sound like? What I can tell you is the Rode Video Micro, the sound is a little bit teeny as compared to the Video Micro 2, which it's a little bit loud and hot, but it has a fuller sound. So I might need to lower down the volume level on my Sony ZV-E10. Okay, so I lower down the volume on my Sony ZV-E10 to level 12 and see how it sounds like. This is a definite upgrade from the uh, original Rode Video Micro. And what I like about this is that it doesn't have any batteries. So you don't have to recharge, you, you're not going to forget to turn it on. And as long as it's plugged in, you will have audio. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.